Hey Corban Saber fans, Aiden here. Today we have the Desert Wanderer Saber, the Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber from the TV show Obi-Wan. We're gonna unbox it for you guys and showcase all the cool fonts and features. Now some may confuse this saber with our OBI-3, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Revenge of the Sith saber. This is slightly different. Some of the parts here are a little more blemished and most people like to opt for the weathered version on our website to make this look extremely accurate to the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. This pommel cap is a little bit more dark and this also is the emitter cap that you're gonna use when you are swinging around the lightsaber and have it on. We also provide the movie accurate or screen accurate emitter cap as well as the movie accurate bottom for the pommel. When you first get into the saber, you're gonna to wanna to unscrew the back end pommel cover. Make sure that you take this entire portion off, the entire portion below the control box. That'll be the best way to access the chassis. The chassis in here is very snug. That's a good thing, so you have more protection, but you have to be very careful when you're sliding it out. You kind of have to unscrew this piece. Then when you have it all taken apart, you're gonna wanna take your chassis, take the battery out, and place it in the battery charger that we provide for you with this Sabre. It is extremely important that you get a full night's charge on this battery to expand the lithium ion battery memory cells so you have an adequate charge each time you go to use the saber here on out. Then when you put it back in, you're gonna wanna make sure that the plus side goes to the plus side and the minus side goes to the minus side. The plus side has a nub on this side and the minus side has a flat. So make sure you go nub to nub and flat to flat. Then you're gonna wanna turn the kill switch. I'm sorry, I can Make sure it works. As you guys can hear and see, it does. Then you're gonna wanna simply put this part back over the saber. Screw the end pommel cap back on. And then simply put the chassis in and make sure these buttons here on the chassis line up with these two buttons on the saber and you can screw it back into place. All right, and there you have it. Let's get a blade inside this guy and showcase all the fonts and cool features. All right, guys, this Desert Wanderer Saber here takes a regular one inch blade. Make sure you tighten the retention screws right here, right there, and right there on the other side. You have three retention screws since there's not as much blade depth on this guy to make sure your saber is in there snug. To turn it on, you press this brass button up here at the top. To turn it off, you press and hold it. While it's on to activate blaster deflect, you press the auxiliary button down here, briefly press it. Blade lockup is also gonna be a press and hold on the auxiliary button. then release when you want to be done with that. Music is going to be pressing the main power button for about a second and a half. Got the Obi-Wan theme on there from the show. Font changing button is going to be the auxiliary button down here. All right, that's really all you guys need to know. Let's go through the rest of the fonts. I'm quite on tune. Jedi. I'm 
like my father before. Excellent. Everything is going as planned. Ray Skywalker. And back to the beginning for you guys. Thank you guys for sticking around to this part of the video. And as always, may the force be with you.